five miles ahead of us in this. That's right. Let's do this. Biker dudes. Oh. All right, this week's next adventure. I'm on vacation for the next two weeks. We were kicking this thing off with Mount Mitchell. So we're going to park at Mount Mitchell. We're going to hike Black Mountain, wow, Black Mountain Ridge. Um, should be about three days. It's going to all be around 6,000 feet elevation. It's the highest peak east of the Mississippi. Um, and I'm going to be along that ridge hiking and camping out up there. Mount Mitchell is about two hours from my house. It's about two hours to get up here. Uh, so had a little detour earlier, so I'm getting a little later than I want to, but I should be up to by 9.30. The fog, clouds have been crazy, so it slows down a little bit. Um, colors are looking good, temps are looking good. We're in the 50s. Uh, I don't think it's, it's gonna stay around the 40s. Lows in the 40s, so not too cold. Uh, some of that leftover tropical whatever zeta rain so let's we'll get some rain left over from that that'll make its way up here so we'll have a little bit of rain be a little interesting i'm gonna check out this overlook because these clouds are pretty cool but i also want to get up there whoa that is so sweet that is wow i've got to stop at the next one take pictures of that top of Big Tom Mountain. Check that out. Crazy. You see the parking lot way down there. That's where I came from. So, I still got a ways to go. There's some clouds out there. It's pretty sweet. When it's so steep, I have a rope. Hit it down. Boy, this trail's brutal. This ain't a joke. Damn, good news. I think I found our Christmas tree. Right there. That's the one. Now we just gotta somehow get it down. All the way down there. Might take a little while. Especially when I gotta hike back up this. You don't see this. I hiked all the way down. It's hard to see this thing in here. There we go. That's where I was. Up 
there from over there went up around back down this like ain't no joke <sighs> all right i got pages one go so i started off somewhere back behind there hiked all the way up top of tom's whatever all the way down over here came down the ridge back around to this horse trail i'm on now look at this view pretty sweet this is why you gotta be careful out here this almost ended up being a really bad day for me i was just walking through here and stepped on this log didn't realize this thing's rotted out and it's slippery as ice my foot went out from under me i fell back look at all these little spikes this one here uh almost went to my side that would have impaled me you gotta be so careful out here anyway I'm going back to camp. Hopefully this comes out okay in the video. You see this cloud coming here? It's coming over the mountains and the big head back there. That's coming up from the south. My guess is that could be all that rain. It's sitting so low. It's just the front of it, you can see billowing up over here. That's pretty cool. Might not be when it gets here. And I got a cool uh, moonrise. I gotta go tend to my fire. Ah. Man, you hear that wind whipping? Hey. <laughs> hey. Gotta know how to pick them. Your good challenge and spots. It's cold, it's windy, and it's awesome. I'm gonna watch a movie, just because it's so awesome. <laughs> Gotta hunker down. <laughs> this is how you hunker down. Oh, I'm flashy. This is how you hunker down in style. A windstorm outside for Halloween. Got a little sleepy hollow going on on the perfect Halloween movie too. So it's 3 a.m. That's bright. 3 a.m. It's wind. It's been relentless. It's just. I'm surprised this tent is not just torn apart at this point. Actually, yeah, we're still good. Good thing is, I'm warm and cozy in here. It's just super annoying and uh, noisy. I doubt I'll get much sleep. <laughs> this is pretty nutty. 
I am. If I come up here next time, I'm gonna have to get like a, a Mount Everest tent or something. Jeez, there's wind. Cause this tent is not made for this kind of wind. Oh yeah, that's good. At least I'm warm and dry. So. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta check this out. I'm getting beat up here. All right, good morning. That was, wow, that was an interesting night. That was probably the second, was the second roughest night I've had out camping uh, in all my trips so far. Uh, tent was here last night. When we started out like 3 a.m i got up and I actually had to move the tent because the way the wind was coming around here and then there was this hump in the ground over here that was causing me not to be able to sleep so i actually got up 3 a.m moved the tent back over towards the creepy forest area here which made it extra creepy so obviously the weather up here can change pretty pretty fast it's a little chilly this morning, low 50s, maybe upper 40s. Uh, the wind, it definitely feels like it's down in the forest. Slept warm the whole night, though. I was, I was comfortable the whole night. Uh, I was comfortable the whole night, other than the rough ground a little bit. Um, that definitely wasn't cold. And it didn't get wet or anything, so all my gear held up that way those beautiful majestic views I had yesterday yeah it's all clouds now now Mitchell's somewhere over there in that cloud it's supposed to be right this one or that one it's this one. actually it's this one it's supposed to move up here that's Mount Mitchell behind those clouds that's where I was hiking at yesterday all up in those clouds right there uh so this weather can move in it was so crazy nice yesterday there was no wind at all it was like creepy quiet up here there's no wind and then i don't know it must have been around like midnight or so that was earlier than that that wind started coming in and it was like a hurricane so we were up to down now we got a five mile hike i maybe slept i slept in it's like 8 30 now because the wind died down this morning. Uh, so I did most of the sleeping actually in the last couple hours this morning. Uh, so now we got about a five mile hike to get back out of here because we got even worse weather than this coming in. And if that was bad, we don't want to get caught out here in something worse than that because then there'll be the wind and the rain. Back here in the creepy tunnel area. I got to a lot of creepy tunnels tonight in my videos. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Everybody got look good. I figured this might have been on the ground. I hung it in this old creepy dead tree. Like something off Sleepy Hollow, which I watched last night. Uh, the bag did good. Nothing was sitting up and tried to get to it. Let me get that down, make some coffee, get on the trail. Things have definitely turned from rough and bad to worse. Uh, but as they were saying in that movie I watched last night, Outpost 30, 48, whatever. Uh, embrace the suck. We're covered in clouds. It just ran to break down camp in the rain. That's never fun. We've got five miles ahead of us in this. That's right. Let's do this. It's going to be a fun one. All right, we're about a mile in. From the campsite, <coughs> got another four and a half miles to go. This trail is a lot easier, it's flat for the most part. Still got some rock stuff, and it's very muddy, though. I'll tell you, these boots, if I can get them on camera. Columbia, I, mean, I put some miles on these shoes, they're waterproof. I have wool socks underneath, um, feet are dry, dry and warm and toasty. How I like it. And I've been stomping through some mud. Um, it's a good shoes. 
Uh, and now my ankle is hurting a little. For those that don't know, I got seven screws and a plate in my left ankle. Football injury <coughs> back in the day, which was like a Friday. Actually, it was a Friday, so it was during football. Um, so, usually you get cold rainy weather, injuries like that start acting up already, start aching a little. But then you take the like three miles I did yesterday on super rocky, uneven terrain. You know, you're twisting your ankle the whole time, just back and forth trying not to fall on the rocks. So I woke up with ankle sore, but got pushed through, man. Just do it. I'll tell you this, bad day out here, better than a good day at work. That's right. Anyway, I'll see if that's still true after like the fourth mile. <laughs> Checking out. fun that was definitely the most challenging trip i have taken yet uh, the climb yesterday was dangerous uh, if i ever do that one again definitely have to go more ultra light because you're doing a lot of climbing down mountain like cliff pieces and rocks and all that stuff so it's a 30 pound pack on that's tough so I almost fell once, but I did. Um, been making it up to the campsite, which was a beautiful campsite and everything. Then that storm came rolling in last night. Man, that was nuts. I almost fell on a branch at one point. And this weather wasn't supposed to come in until tomorrow. Like they were saying today it was only like a 10% chance of rain this morning until like later this afternoon. So I had planned for it not being too bad getting out of here. But that rain started at like was it, eight o'clock this morning and it never stopped. So it was just relentless rain uh, of a whole hike back. The first, what was it like the first three miles, four miles, I think it is. It's almost four miles, the first four miles. It's all a horse trail. It's pretty flat, which is cool. But I knew I was gonna regret that because I was like, I've got to gain back that elevation because I had dropped over a thousand feet to where I camped when I hiked in last night. So I'm like, at some point, I've got to make up that, you know, over a thousand feet elevation gain to get back to where I parked. And hiking down this trail and the whole thing's flat. I'm like, this ain't good because at some point, the longer I go straight flat, the less and less miles, that means you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna have a very short amount of mileage and a lot of elevation you're gonna have to gain, which is what happens. So like the last mile and a half is 1,300 feet of elevation. So it's like straight up, you just, you're, <laughs> sucks. It's very pretty back in there. But after doing all those miles yesterday and then having only, maybe I got two hours of sleep last night with the wind. Um, I haven't even eaten yet, I haven't had any coffee. Uh, I just, the rain kicked in and I wanted to get out before it got really bad. 
so I hauled butt out of there. My legs are done. Um, this is supposed to be a two day thing, but this weather was supposed to not come in until tomorrow. So again, these things are unpredictable. So you just gotta take what you can get when you can get it. Uh, every, all my gear is just soaking wet. Uh, my tent soaking wet. My clothes, look like I had extra clothes in the car. But <laughs> these are hiking clothes. I got shorts and t-shirt on now. But yeah, my shoes and socks are soaking wet. Look at my oh, eye. Yeah. It was this out, right? That's another thing. I hit myself in the eye with a log last night. I thought I gave myself a black eye. That was stupid. A lot of, a lot of close. A lot of really close calls and some stupid stuff that could have happened on this trip. There was a, several times I almost fell. There was one time I fell today. Uh, I just walked through all that mud. And uh, you know, even with trekking poles, the mud is just, it gets so bad, so slick, that my feet just whoosh, went under and I went down on my knees in the wet, cold mud, which is, that feels great. Um, but, you know, carry on. I almost fell on a tree. Uh, a couple other times I slipped on the rocks. Um, a log almost hit me in the eye. Yeah, it was a windstorm. It's adventure time, baby. All right, I'm gonna eat some chicken nuggets.